revival. That's right. That's all they're doing. That's all they're doing. That's it. That's why they're so upset with me. <laughs> one preacher got so mad, me preaching on the one wife stand, he, uh, he spoke out against me. He said, all you got is one wife. All the women you got in church, you should marry some more. That's all right. I parked my car in a very well garage. Amen. I'm satisfied. Satisfied. Wonderful. Wonderful. They're no good pulpit Bible carrying bums. Bums. That's what they are. Amen. Anytime these men are married, like one preacher who's been yelling about me, now he stole one of the brothers of his church, of his synagogue or temple, whatever he called it, <laughs> wives, and he married her. Mm. And the brother left from under him. Mm. They are nothing but pimps. That's it. That's right. And these preachers coerce you. Oh, yes. They use the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. When they had concubines and multiple wives. Right. And they say, that's the way we do it now. That's not, not since Jesus came not, here. Not since Jesus Oh, came. no, the Messiah broke that stuff up. That's right. Give me the 10th chapter, chapter of the, the book, book of Mark. Mark. That's right. I want this to be good in case I got any pimps here. <laughs> Amen. St. Mark chapter 10, we'll I'm start I'm going to knock one. you off your platform shoes. That's right. Right down to Bible. That's right. Mr. Grass. Amen. Mr. Grass. Mr. Grass. This is your cutting. That's it. Huh? St. Mark chapter 10. We're amen, at the first amen, one. hear good? Amen. Come on, son. St. Mark chapter 10, we're at the first verse. What is it? And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. They say you only can have one wife in your church. It ain't my church. No. No. I ain't die for you. <laughs> no. Even though you may want me dead, I ain't die for you. No. Ain't no need to talk about the Messiah if you're not going to respect what he stand for. That's right. That's right. One greater than Moses came here. Oh, yes. And if you don't obey him to hell, you going. That's it. All right. St. Mark chapter 10, when we're at verse 1. What is it? And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. Real quick. By the farther side of Jordan, and the people resort unto him again. And then we'll get the 19th chapter of Matthew. Matthew. Real quick. And as he was one, he taught them again. Yes. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? Yeah, that's what these men want now. Yeah. Yeah, they want to get rid of their wives because, you know, that some of their wives are just crazy. <laughs> Not all women, but some of these women today that I like get a lost their mind. Yeah. Want to get married and stay out all night. What you get married for? That's right. That's right. Want to get married and stay out all night and run here and there with their friends? No, that's not for a married woman. No. That's not for a married woman. No. Well, I don't want no man to be over me. The Bible said the head of every man. The every woman, woman is the man. Is the Notice man. it didn't says the head of every woman is just your husband. No. It says the head of every woman is the man. Is the man. Is the man. I don't get many amens on that, so I better read it. <laughs> That's right. First, first Corinthians chapter 11. I want 11. this to be good for you that think I'm making up something. Right. I'm known for giving your Bible. You're known for it. Huh? That's right. I'm known for giving your Bible. That's right. Let's read it for the hearing in pad. First Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to start at the very first verse. Follow me. Be ye followers of me. Look at the Apostle Paul. Be ye followers of me. Even as I, even also, as am I, I also am Christ. a Christ. Now I praise you, brethren. Yes. That ye remember me in all things. What is it? And keep the ordinances as I deliver them unto you. Yes. But I would have you know. Listen at this. I want you to know this. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ, the son of the living God. And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. No, that just the head of the woman is a husband. And the head of the woman is the man. No, just a husband. The head of the woman is the man. The man is your head, period. Period. That's right. Whether you got a husband or not. The head of the woman. See, God put that in there because mm. he know every woman ain't married. That's right. That's and a right. woman may say, well, look, I ain't married yet. I ain't got no head. That ain't what God said. The head of the woman is the man. Whether you're married or not married. married. Or not. That's right. The Bible just says the head of the woman is the man. All right. No need to go shouting now. <laughs> Amen. No need to shout now. You better let you come on back here. Let you come on back. All right, let's go back to where we were in the 10th chapter of Mark. I want to give you multiple wife religions. Back in St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 2. All right. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him. And asked him. Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Yes. Tempting him. Tempting him. And he answered and said unto them, what did Moses command? Ah, folks Amen. love Moses. Love Moses. What did Moses command? And they said Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement. 
Moses mm -hmm. suffered to write a bill of to divorce. write a bill of divorce and to put her away. And you can get rid of her. And Jesus answered and said, unto Jesus them, said, for the hardness of your heart. Now. Jesus gave the reason why Moses done it. For the hardness of your heart. Moses done it because of the stubbornness, mm -hmm. the hardness of your heart, the wickedness, because your heart loved flesh. He wrote you this precept. He let you have that precept. But from the beginning of what? the creation. Hey, hey, hey. He going back further than Moses now. Oh, yes. Before Moses was born. That's right. He wasn't back there in the beginning of creation. That's right. What is it? But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of creation. God made them male and female. God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Cleave to wives. Cleave to his wife. A man leave father and mother and cleave to his wives. This cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. One. His wife. Just one. His wife. W-I-F-E. His wife. Come home to one. Come back to one. His wife. Go to the restaurant with one. His wife. Go to bed with one. His wife. Eat grits with one. His wife. Eat fish with one. His wife. Cut a piece of sweet potato pie with one. His wife. That's right. Hear this. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And what? And they twain shall be one flesh. Now. If you got more than one wife, mm -hmm. how can you be one flesh, one flesh when you don't have one flesh? That's right. That's right. How can you be one flesh with a bunch of wives or one flesh with a bunch of husbands? That's right. Have you taken note of these multi-wise religions? They always side with the men that he can have a lot of wives. Yeah. They never say the women can have a lot of husbands. That's true. You ain't caught on to that yet. <laughs> That's right. You ain't caught on to that yet. That's right. Amen. That Paul Pitt buzzed already looking at your daughter. Yes, he is. Planning in advance. Go ahead. Get all the wives for the bishop. Right. But the women only can have one man. <laughs> Amen. You viewers ain't caught on to that yet. That's right. That's right. You've been sucking. Right. Amen. You're going to give your wife to your pastor as a gift? Mm. You're going to give your daughter away? My Lord, my Lord. To your pastor? Mm. That's You're going to give your 17-year-old daughter away to your 85-year-old goat for a bishop? That's right. That's true. And you think that's God's will? My Lord. That's wicked. Oh, yes. That's why they can't stand me. Oh, yes. Hear me good. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Shall a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. What? what they twain. They, they twain. Shall be one flesh. And so then they are no more twain but one flesh. They're no longer two. That's right. But one flesh. What therefore? It didn't say they're no longer three, four, five, six, but one flesh. No. This is so plain. They are no longer two. Twain. Twain. But one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together. Let not man put asunder. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. Yes. And he saith unto them, whosoever shall put away his wife. Yes. And marry another. And marry another. Committeth adultery against her. No, 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 you don't. Amen. The preacher said today, you don't do that. No -mm. Whosoever. Preacher said, trade him in. Lord. Who you, ever, you ever seen a used car lot? That's, a way, that's exactly where the churches are. That's right. A used wife lot. That's right. Used. You, you don't see no used men lot. <laughs> just no. a used wife lot. That's right. That's right. You can get that wife for $15. You can get that wife for $20. Mm. You can get that wife for $30. You can get that wife for twenty-five dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> then you can get that wife for two dollars and a quarter. My oh, Lord, use wife lot. That's all these churches are. That's right. That's all these so-called synagogues are. Yes. They're nothing but a used wife lot that needs to be bulldozed down. That's right. That's right. There's always the bishop yeah. that can have all the wives. Oh yeah. And your women are forced. Only preach one, one husband. One husband. You ain't waked up yet. 
<laughs> your Bible carrying sucker. That's right. You've been deceived, you've been duped, you've been conned. That's why they want me off of the air. That's right. Because we are exposing the folly of the pulpit. Amen. You old hypocrite. Amen. And he says yeah, unto man. them. Yeah, be good. St. Mark chapter 10 at verse 11. Jesus said unto them. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Whosoever. Whosoever. Shall put away his wife. And marry another. And marry another. Committeth adultery committeth against her. Committeth adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her husband. And if a woman get rid of her husband. And be married to another. And get another man. She committeth adultery. Now give me the 19th, 19th chapter, chapter of Matthew. Yes. This Ma is where they say he justified divorce. That's right. They overlook the Bible. I want to read this real good and take it apart. Amen. I often say over the air, focus on the language of the Bible. That's right. If you don't know the difference between fornication and adultery, you messed up. Yes. Fornication is not committed by married people. No. Adultery is committed by the married. That's it. Fornication is committed by single folk. That's right. Someone says sex is sex. All sex is not the same. No. Somebody say, oh, yes, it is. If it is, then men and men, it would be all right. It would be all right. That's all right. sex is not the same. No. There's some sex that fall under the title abomination. Abomination. Which exceeds fornication. That's right. That's right. You're going to tell me a, a woman lay with a dog is just like laying with a man? No way. Are you that big of a fool? No way. A man that lay with man? Mm. Fred and Barney lay together. That's not like Fred and Wilma. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No way. Don't tell me all sex is the same. No. If you, a man also lie yeah, with man, Give me Leviticus. If they give me the fifth chapter mm -hmm. of First Corinthians, I believe. That's right. All right. Let's, we're going to go to Old Testament yes. and New. That's it. Where it happened back under the law and where it happened when the church was here. That's right. Come on, we're going to get all of it. Let's oh, have it. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 20. Just in 20. case I got near you men or women with more than one wife and more than one husband, and you somewhere jumping and shouting and trying to read your Bible. I'm going to tie your hips down tie, with the Bible. Tie him down. So when you go back under them sheets at home, and that man you're laying with, his wife is still living, you ain't nothing but a spare tire. That's it. And I'm here with the Bible to flatten your tire. That's right. Hear me good? In the book of Leviticus chapter Get mad as you want. Amen. Come on back to the Bible here. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hear me. Hear me good. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. You know internet is jumping. Yes, it There's is. There's one thing about this subject. They'll fight me tooth and nail <laughs> to have that orgy faith. Amen. That orgy Christian faith. Amen. Hmm? That's right. Sleep with a white wife that night, a yellow wife the next night, a brown wife the next night, a dark brown wife, a, a medium brown wife, a caramel color wife, a peach color wife. Go ahead, Pastor. You old plantation. You's a massa. <laughs> That's you right. You ain't no preacher. You massa. Massa. That's all you got. That's right. Your preacher's massa. That's right. Anytime a man go marry your own wife mm. and you let him. You're on a plantation. You ain't in no church. That's right. You're not in no synagogue. That's right. And you're not in a mosque. No. You're on a plantation that hide behind religion. That's it. That's right. Your bishop is master. He's, he's master. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Write it down. Write that down real good. Play it to him. Play it. Play it to master Fred. <laughs> That's right. He come tell you, gone up in some tongue. Who shut the about shut the about tell up the the Lord ta 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 ta. The Lord told me to tell you. The Lord want me to have want me to marry your wife. Marry your let me marry your wife. My Lord, my Lord. And you say, is that the Lord will, Bishop? Yes. The Lord told me to marry your wife. All right, if that's the Lord will, and then he marry your wife. He marry. And you give your wife the massa. That's right. And he make up some scriptures to whip you on the back like a 12-year slave. That's right. Because of your ignorance of the Bible, yeah. he's able to pull it over on you. Oh, yeah. That's why they don't like us, because I'm not ignorant to the Bible. That's it. That's right. Hear me good? Let you multi-wide preachers, hear me good? Amen. Hear me good? Amen.
Even that God, even Jesus only had one wife. One wife. He called his wife the church. The church. He going to present to himself a glorious church. That's the bride. That's the bride. He's called the husband man. That's right. He ain't presenting a bunch of churches. No. One church. One church. One people. That's right. Glory to God. Hear this. Hear this. Leviticus chapter 20 and we're at verse 13. Listen at this. If I'm, I'm going to show you all four and all six is not the same. That's right. Give me Leviticus. Then we'll get Corinthians. Then right. we'll go back to Matthew. Amen. Everybody all right? Amen. If you're not, it ain't my problem. <laughs> Hear yeah, this good. In Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. What is it? If a man also lie with mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lieth with a woman. Do you see that? That's it. That's right. Now a woman you can do a whole lot with. Right. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Right. I mean you can, just, you can just do a whole lot with them. A whole lot. Praise the name of God. That's right. But a man, but a man, yeah, 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 yeah. If but a, a man, I don't care if you put a wig on, a man in a negligee and wear a size 22 pumps. That's right. Amen. 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 Do you hear this? If a man also lie with mankind, how? As he lieth with a woman. What is it? Both of them. Have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to to to, to death. death. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> oh, I got stuck, oh, Pastor. You try to keep them living. <laughs> huh? Tell the devil to turn <laughs> your <laughs> tongue loose. <laughs> the devil trying to keep them living. <laughs> Get that devil out your mouth. Glory to God. What did he say, sir? If a man also lie with mankind. God have never called a man that lay with woman abomination. Abomination. Unless it went another direction. And That's we're right. going to show you that direction. That's right. Listen at this. Yep. Still in Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Come on, William. If a man also lie with mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lieth with a woman. As he lie with the woman. Both of them. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, how is that? Uh, I don't have time to go into it. Yeah, you just imagine what you could do with a woman. <laughs> then just... That's right. Ask yourself, can you see yourself trying to do that with a man? My Lord. And if you can, you ought to go to hell. Uh, <laughs> it's 754. <laughs> you ought to go to hell tonight. T tonight. That's right. And all these women out here in the world, all these women all in the world, mm. height, different complexion, different built and different color. Right. And all you want is some old ashy need man? My Lord. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Hear me good? If a man also lie with mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As, as he lies with a woman. He lie with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. That's how rigid it was back then. They shall surely be put to death. They was going to be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Their blood shall be upon them. Now All right, now let's get the fifth chapter. Of the book of First Corinthians. Of First Corinthians. And at verse 1. Listen at this. It is reported commonly. I'm getting old and New Testament. Mm -hmm. For you people that say, oh, we're not, we're not under the law no more. We're under grace. I right, hear some grace right here. First Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1. Listen at this. It is reported commonly. How often this was going on? Commonly. Commonly. It was just as common as drinking water. That's right. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. What kind? And such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles. What? That one should have his father's wife. Amen. And father's wife fall in two categories today. Yeah. Father's wife, your biological mother. Mm -hmm. But then you got father's wife. That may not be your biological mother. So therefore, she had the modern title, stepmother. That's right. That's right. But laying with your biological mother? Mm. It is reported commonly. How often? Commonly. 
commonly. Keep it all in the family. That's right. That's right. Mama land with her own son. That's right. And daughter land with her own father. My Lord. Commonly. I had somebody say, you preach against that. I just can't take it. I can't listen at you. Why can't you if you're innocent? Amen. If you're innocent, why can't you, why can't you hear this? That's right. None of these other fellas out here will preach nothing. No. They're not preaching nothing. Oh, no. Did you hear this? It is reported commonly. How often? Commonly. Among you. That there is fornication among you. What kind is it? And such fornication as is not so much as named among the Gentiles. You hear this? That one should have. That lets you know Gentiles wasn't doing this here. That's right. This was not a Gentile people acting like this. And such fornication as is not so much as named it among the Gentiles. It wasn't a name among the Gentiles. And you only have two classes of people. That's right. Jew or Gentiles. Amen. I said. That's it. You only, I don't care what nationality you are. If you're not a natural Jew, you are a Gentile. A Gentile. And the Bible already said not so much name among them. And not so much as named among the Gentiles. That one should have his father's wife. How in the world can a son look at his mama? The way he look at women out there in the street. That's right. That's right. That's right. How in the world can a father look at his daughter? At his daughter. The way he look at women out there in the street. Amen. That he want to be with her. Yeah. She want to be with him. Oh, yes. And they tell me something wrong with me for preaching against it. No, something wrong with you because you can't take it. That's right. That's right. If we preach thou should not steal and you know you're not a thief, it shouldn't bother you. No. You shouldn't put your hands in your pocket and be looking around. That's right. Amen. That's right. All right, go back to the 19th chapter of Matthew. Is everybody all right? Now in Matthew Let's chapter 19. Let's strike this out real good. Matthew 19, we're going to start at verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these sayings, All right. he departed from Galilee uh -huh. and came into the coast of Judea beyond Jordan. And great multitudes followed him, and he healed them there. The Pharisees also came unto him, tempting him. Tempting him. And saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Yes. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife. Yes. And they twain shall be one flesh. One flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. All right. But therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Yes. They say unto him, Why did Moses then? Why? Yeah, that's the way folks are now. That's the way they are. They love Moses. Oh, yeah. They are jump on Moses quick. <laughs> that's right. Why did Moses then? Command to give a Command writing of divorce. Command to give a writing of divorce. And to put her away. And get rid of her. He saith unto them, Moses, because Look of the at hardness Jesus of teaching. your hearts. Moses. Because of because the hardness of your hearts. Jesus plainly gave the reason. That's right. That's right. Jesus that's never right. said, God let you do it. No, Moses. Moses, because of the hardness they of your hearts. They never said, why did God let you do it? No. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorcement and, and to put her away? Put her away. He saith unto them, Moses, because Moses, of the hardness of your heart. Because of the hardness of your heart. Suffered you to, suffered put, away you your to wives. put away your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. Moses wasn't back in the beginning. That's right. He said from the beginning it wasn't meant to be. And I say unto you. Uh oh. Amen. I said. They let you know, hey, someone greater than Moses is talking now. That's right. I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife. Now listen at this. This is what the people jump on. Whosoever, whosoever put away his wife. Except it be for fornication. Now, have you ever seen a married person commit fornication? No. Married people commit adultery. That's right. So he's dealing with two types of wives here. That's right. A spouse wife and a married woman. And a married woman. See, the spouse wife can commit fornication. Mm -hmm. In fact, that's what Mary and Joseph thought Mary did. That's right. And yet the Bible says that Mary and Joseph were like spouse, spouse. And yet Joseph already had the title husband. husband you better read that quick now. St. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 18. Follow me. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this one. Then we go back to Matthew. Matthew 1 and verse 18. Yes. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. This is how it was. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible established their relationship. That's right. 
How many know what espouse means? Spouse. Engage. Yes. So some of you may be engaged now. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure it's a man and a woman. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean, let's keep it like that. Keep it like that. You don't need to be engaged to a horse or a cow or a dog. Shh. Lord. Amen. Amen. Listen at this. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. His mother Mary were engaged to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Before they came together mean before they, listen, before they came together. Yes. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband. Wait a minute. What title did he have? Joseph, her husband. But what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. And what title did he have? Joseph, her husband. Amen. You got the title husband and wife before you married. That's right. You're just not allowed to do the performance. That's it. That's right. Because you're not bound yet. That's right. Listen. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man. Being a just man. And not willing to not make willing her to a public her example, away. was minded to put her away he privately. He was minded. Minded. Because the Bible lets him know what, if a woman under the law. Under the law. What she would do if you are engaged to her, right. you can put her away. That's right. Listen. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man. Yes. And not willing to make her a public example. He ain't want everybody to know about what's going on. Was minded to put her away privately. Yes. But while he thought of these things. Why he gave it thought. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream. And said what? Saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Wait a minute. But what was their relationship? Mary was espoused to Joseph. They wasn't even married yet. That's right. But because they was already committed, right. he had the title husband, and she had the title wife. That's right. But they didn't come together to have no sex. That's right. There was no fornication taking place. No. Joseph thought Mary fornicated. Right. That's why he wanted to put her away put privately. Privately. Now let's go back to the 19th chapter of Matthew. Back in Matthew chapter 19 and at verse 9. Listen. And I say unto you, whosoever shall, whosoever put, away shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry and shall, another, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. Now, in order for you to commit adultery, adultery. you got to be already married. That's right. In order for you to commit adultery, adultery, you got to be already married and to marry somebody else. That's right. Listen. It, read on say, quick. And I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, yes. except it be for fornication, and, and shall marry another. Commit of adultery. And whoso marrieth her, who which is put whoever, away. Whoever marry her, which is put that away. That is divorce. Doeth commit adultery. Your husband got to die. Your wife got to die. Got to die. Grass. Grass. Brother and Sister Grass. The voice said cry, and he said, what <laughs> shall I cry? Brother and Sister Grass, you can't get no new blades. <laughs> That's right. That's you right. You can't get no new blade of grass. I don't care what your pastor believe. He can jump no and shout and go in all the tongues he wants. That's right. He had to come back to the rule of God's word. That's right. And what did he say there? Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication. And marry and another. And marry another, committeth adultery. And what else? And whoso marrieth her, which is put away, doeth commit adultery. All right, let's see how long are we to stay together. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 7. 7.39. 1 Corinthians 7.39. Yes. The wife is bound by the law. How long? As long as her husband liveth. No, to her next birthday. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. But. To a, to, does she get a first string of gray hair? The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. Until she put on weight. As long as her husband liveth. Until all the children are born. As long as her husband liveth. I know some of you women want a new husband. Want a new one. Amen. Want a new one. Some, some men, some men, the truth of the matter is some men is just no good. That's right. That's the truth of it. That's right. They beat their wives, slap their wives, and kick their wives. And let me tell you fellas something. Hmm. Any man that lay his hands on his wife the same way you would lay your hands on a man, you are no good, rotten, no good. weak bum. That's right. Yes, you are. That's right. That's right. Hey, man, the woman got her beaten when she was a child. Yeah. What are you slapping her around for? Amen. Beating her, kicking her, 
I've dealt with cases where women been knocked down and the man stand over her and kicked and broke her ribs. My Lord, my Lord. Dealt with cases where the man stepped and stomped his wife back until he broke it mm. and then threw her down the step. My Lord, my Lord. I've dealt with cases where the man broke his wife's jaw and he's a bishop of an apostolic church. Mm. You bunch of heathens. That's a bunch and of they heathens. wonder why I preach heathens. so hard. You bunch of heathens. That's right. That's right. Center don't respect these church people today. No. Many of these men is just no good. They don't want to take care of wife, children, nothing. Mm. What I find is so ridiculous. A man leave his wife hmm. and children and go take care of another woman and her children. That's right. He, he tell his wife and kids, I'm tired of supporting y'all. My Lord. And then you go support somebody else's wife and kids. My Lord. You just use that as an excuse. That's right. That's right. Hear me good. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. How long? As long as her husband liveth. What? But if the husband be dead. What? She, but if the husband be dead. Not dying. Dead, dead. Not in the hospital and the respirator still going on. And that heart monitor still beating. That's right. You could bring Bill to look at Fred all you want. <laughs> Fred, you there yet? Look at the monitor. <laughs> you stuck. Stuck. Bound by the law. And you can't pull the plug on him. That's right. Is what? Ba the wife is bound you by know, the law. You know, this scripture going to cause a lot of men and women that go to church that go to hell. That's right. A lot of bishops now got to come out the pulpit because oh, yeah. one of the qualifications of a bishop, if he's married, yes. is the husband of one, one wife. wife. One so wife. if the Bible justifies multiple wives today, why only one wife for the preacher? That's right. You liar. That's right. You're a lying bishop. Amen. You're a lying elder. Amen. You're a lying evangelist. You're a lying prophet. That's right. You're a lying minister. You're a liar. Amen. The qualification of the... You better read Titus, this. Titus chapter 1, and what's right at verse 6. Says what? If any be blameless... If any be blameless... The husband... Of how many? Of one wife. What? <laughs> the husband of one wife. Your pulpit Bible carrying liar. Amen. Now speak in tongue over that. O over that. Over that. This is a true saying. Uh oh. Now in First Timothy chapter three. Anything and verse else one. is a lie. This is a true saying. What? Well, give chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter three and we're at verse one. Yes. This is a true saying. All of you people that go to these churches, mm -hmm. where the preacher said the Lord spoke to him, <laughs> and he divorced his first wife, mm -hmm. and his first wife still living, mm -hmm. and he got another. He just lied on the Almighty God. That's it. I don't care if he's apostolic. Pentecostal, Hebrew, Israelite, right. Muslim, I don't care. That's when right. the Bible talk, everybody got to shut up. Amen. Because the Bible, I'm going to take the Bible over you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I want to encourage all you viewers, Hallelujah. take the Bible over your pastor. That's right. Take it. That's take right. it. Go ahead, brother. Let him throw you out the church. Who cares? Take the Bible That's over right. him. That's right. I don't care if it's your daddy. Preach it. Your daddy come to your house and you know your mama still living, Preacher. which is his wife. Go ahead. And Betty still living, which is his wife. Mm -hmm. And he's going to drive up now and come to his daughter's house with Sarah. Amen. Yeah, hey, hey, daughter, I want you to meet my new wife. The daddy, mama still living. Yeah, but the Lord dealt with me. You are a liar. That's Hell a liar. dealt with you. That's right. Your flesh dealt with you. That's right. Let's call a spade a spade. Amen. Listen. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. That's what? This is a true saying. This is true. If a man desires... I don't to believe nothing else but this. But this. This is true. This is a true saying. You can jump and shout and holler and scream and sit outside and pray if you like. <laughs> this is true. This is a true saying. That what? If a man desires the office of a bishop... Is your pastor a bishop? Mm. A bishop is an elder. That's right. Does right. your pastor claim he's a bishop? Claiming. Oh, he is? Mm. And he done divorced his wife and got another one? He do? He do. He do? This is a true saying. I'm about to read something true here. That's right. I'm about to read something true here. This is a true saying. I'm about to read something true here. If a man Give chapter and verse to them. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This is true. This is a true saying. 
If a man desire the office of a that bishop. That goes for if I got any undercover preachers here. <laughs> That's right. Undercover. Undercover preachers. Because you know when I preach somewhere, a lot of men won't say if they're menacing. No, no. They'll just say, I'm a guest. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> I don't care if you are an undercover minister. You got a second wife, and mm. when you go back home, you're living in adultery, you pulpit hypocrite. That's right. Preach now it. you can put your robe on tomorrow mm. and preach over this. My Lord. Preach over this scripture here. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear what it says. This is All what you say. All of you that got bishops that got more than one wife. Mm. He done married the second time, third time, fourth time. All of you that are watching, right. hear this. Hear this scripture here. First Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Says what? This is a true saying. That lets you know anything else that contradicts this saying is a lie. That's right. Because this is the true saying. If a man desire the office of a bishop, what? He desireth a good work. What is his qualification? A bishop then must be blameless. Yes. The husband of one wife. If he's married, how many wives he got? The husband of one wife. Two wives. One wife. Three. One. Four. One. Five. One. Six. One. Seven. One. Eight. One. Nine. One. Ten. One. Twenty-four. One. Twenty-three. One. Hut, hut, hut. One, one, one. That's right. Amen. That's right. You get this. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one I wife. I don't care if it's your husband. I don't care Preacher, if it's please. your father. Preacher. It doesn't matter if it's your uncle. Amen. It doesn't matter if it's your grandfather. That's right. If the first wife is alive That's right. and the second wife he got or the third wife he got Go and he said he got got her in Jesus name in Jesus because name. the Lord moved on him mm -hmm. he was moved by the devil that's right this is a true saying because right here is true that's right if a man desire the office of a bishop the devil got in his pants <laughs> that's all that's right the devil's in his drawers He's in his drawers <laughs> that's right that's make right it so plain you got to get it that's it what I would like to say I can't say it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right. The devil's all in your bishop draws. All in there. That's all. all. There. That's right. That's all. That's only that's what made him marry the second time. That's right. First wife is still living. That's what made him get the third wife and fourth wife because the devil is in his draws. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hear me good. This is a true yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 1. Give chapter and verse again. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 1. Now, let me see you preach over this scripture. Over this. You can speak in tongue now if you got time. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to God, we're going to plant your hills down with the Bible. That's it. I had no one taking his own working on this, mm. but this is a necessity today. Oh, yeah. All these women getting duped into marrying one man. One man got five and four and three and... Right. Five and ten and six wives. That's right. Taking members of the church wives and marrying them. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Can't have no wife until your wife dies. That's right. That's right. You have to wait for your wife to die. You have to wait. She has to wait for her husband to die. Well, Pastor Jenna, that take too long. <laughs> Give me his back. First read Corinthians. that again, read that again, then Timothy. Mm -hmm. Then go back to the first Corinthians 739. Because that? people want out. <laughs> That's right. Amen. I I and I I can't I can't give you no more than what the Bible says. No. Now listen at this. First Timothy chapter 3 and at verse 1. Yes. This is a true saying. <laughs> yes, sir. If a man desire the office Glory of a bishop, God. he desireth a good work. Yes. A bishop then must be blameless. Yes. The husband of one wife. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's it. Now 739 in the book of First Corinthians. Back in First Corinthians 7 and verse 39. The wife is bound by the law as long as her husband liveth. Yes. But if her husband be dead. If her husband be dead. She is at liberty is to liberty be married to, to, to whom she will, she will, only in the Lord. Now, I can use myself as an example. If I die, yeah. then my wife's got freedom to marry. That's right. It doesn't matter if she was Pastor Jenna's wife. The Bible gives her the right just like it gives you that right. That's right. And she ain't got the answer to the church. No. That's her personal business. That's right. If I die on Monday, she can marry on Tuesday. That's right. Someone said that's too quick. There is no Bible that no. gives space or time. No. 
No Bible. No. And nobody can say nothing. No. Well, she married too quick. That's none of your business. That's right. I want to say that don't sound right. Who cares? There is no Bible <laughs> that right. says she got to wait an X amount of days, no. minutes, weeks, months, years. No Bible. She is at liberty to the be Bible married. The Bible says she's free. To be married to whom she will. But what is the stipulation? Only in the Lord. She can't marry a sinner. Right. He has to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, and in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's it. She's only allowed to marry only in the Lord. Only in the Lord. If I die Monday at 12 noon, she can get married at, by 1230. Mm. If she want. If she want. She is at liberty. The Bible says she's at what? She is at liberty. She's at what? She is at liberty. She's at what? She is at liberty. To be married to whom she will. Someone say, I don't agree with that. Nobody think about your feeling. I'm talking about Bible here. She is at liberty. She's at liberty. To be married to whom she will. How? Only in the Lord. It's true. Someone say, if I had to get married next week, she must not love you. Not yourself. I can't. I know. I, I know. Listen, I'm definitely peace. Where men wives die. And a brother loves his wife. And I, and I know he loves her. He got married, he got married again later on. And uh, he told the woman to be married. He was the woman to be married. They all were. And the second one to be married, and she and him and his wife came over there. And he told her, well, I asked her about the first one. But if I'm a good man, and I is, <laughs> and she marry another good, man, another good man, if that man is good, and I mean really good, mm -hmm. and she say, look, I'm not taking the pictures down of my husband. If he's a good man, he would respect that. That's right. That's In right. fact, he would encourage her. You know, leave, your, leave your pictures of him up. In fact, talk, talk to me about the way he used to treat you and love you and took care of you. Yeah. That man shouldn't be intimidated, and I'm dead. That's right. That's right. Think of it. That's true. What in the world would you be intimidated for? You're dead. That's right. I'm dead. What you gonna do? Go to the grave and cuss me out? That's right. It'd be the same way if some of you men today, your wife died, and you have a very good wife. And then you marry the second time. Listen, this is the mistake that a lot of people make. Mm -hmm. They'll be on camera too. <laughs> the mistake they make is this. If the wife died, very good woman, and that man married a second time, some of these women that you get, fellas, some of them expect for you to stop loving your first wife. And they'll tell you, I'm on the scene now. I want your love. Wait, wait, wait. If that's a respectable woman, right. she wants you to remember your wife. That's right. She won't encourage you to forget your wife that's because right. if she's a good woman, how are you going to forget her? Right. I if that was me, I'd use myself as an example. God forbid if my wife passed, but I hope she never do. In fact, I hope she outlived me. But if she passed and I choose to remarry, well, I look like 
get rid of her pictures and all that. No, I would leave every picture around the house. Listen, woman, come tell me, I can't take her walking through the house and seeing her. Do you leave then? <laughs> That's right. That's right. So you can ask me straight up, well, you still love her? You think because if she die, my love die? No. No, I will love her always till I die. No. Amen. That's just a fact. Amen. And if I was to marry again, then that woman has to deal with the fact I'm still in love with a dead woman. Mm. But I would tell her straight up, That's oh, right. yeah, yeah, I love her. I love her just as good today as I did yesterday and the day before. But she's dead now. Well, I'm in love with a dead woman. Yeah. You can't kiss her. Well, I can't kiss her, but I can dream about her. <laughs> How many women would encourage that man, remember your good wife? Yeah. I want you to remember. I want you to love her. Right. Always love her. Mm. And don't mind you sitting talking to her about your wife. Right. And she won't get, how can you get jealous of a woman that's dead? That's right. How can you get jealous of a man that's dead? Amen. Wow. So, brother, you know you had a good wife and she passed. Watch how that woman react when you talk about her. That's right. The one you talking about marrying. You didn't marry her yet. And she's like, oh, I heard enough about her. I heard enough about her. Look, man, you don't let no woman come in your mm. life and want to erase your good past. That's right. You don't let no man come in your life and erase your good past. That's right. If he's no good and she's no good, you don't have to worry about somebody else erasing because you'll want to forget him yourself. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's a problem with a lot of men. And then the second marriage don't work. Because she already got it in for your wife, dead wife. Well, how are you going to talk to me about her? I'm tired of hearing about her. You're going to have to do something about these pictures. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she looks like she's looking at me. <laughs> Amen. My Lord. He said the same thing. Look, I don't like these pictures around here. You have to do something about these pictures. And she's like, well, what, what you want me to do with them? Get rid of them. Burn them. Mm. He's dead now. Forget all about him. Mm. No good woman will forget about a good man. No. And no good man going to forget about a good woman. That's right. That's right. So none of you out there that got married to a good man or good woman after the first husband died or the first wife died, mm -hmm. she'll, should feel threatened. That's right. How can you be threatened by a corpse? Amen. Unless he come back and slap you. <laughs> I speak this because I've dealt with many cases like this and I'm still dealing with cases like this to the present. Mm. Trying to teach men, you don't come in somebody else's uh, house and uh, she just lost her husband and he was a good man. Man, you shouldn't mind that woman talking to, about that man. You should want to know. Well, tell me what, what it was. That's memory lane for her because she's still grieving. That's right. That's right. Wonderful, brother. Don't be so anxious to jump in the bed. Mm. There's a crushed heart there. And a crushed mind. Go ahead, you got that to deal with. That's right. If she's really in love with him, even if you married her 20 years later, 20 years That's of true. death is just as fresh as one day. That's right. That's right. Amen. I want to teach you and educate Keep. you. Amen. Amen. You think you're the new kid on the block. You're supposed to just take over. Man, you got a lot of you got a lot to learn. Oh yeah. It ain't just that easy with some women. It isn't just that easy with some men. That's right. Death hurts. That's right. When is the right one? It's the right one. I have to put it that way. <laughs> For some folk, he's dead. He is. <laughs> More. 
Man, the moment they hear about it, Bill is dead. S Sister Susie, you, did you hear? Your husband died. What? Your husband died. Oh, wow. Oh, oh man. <laughs> so while she around you, she's just. <clears throat> when she go by herself, in the mirror, mm, yeah. Yeah, just as happy as you can be. Then at the funeral, come on back, all in black looking. <laughs> Amen. I ain't been pastoring 40 years for nothing. That's right. There's some men and some women. Death is true freedom for them. Yeah. They want out. Want out. The only thing they're keeping them in is the God word. That's it. That's right. Jesus preached marriage so hard until the apostles respond, oh, well, it's good not to better it's better not to marry. Not to marry. Jesus laid it hard. Yes, he did. Very hard. Yes, so you, you have to take under consideration. It's a whole different approach. When you marry a man or a woman, and they was married before, and the wife died, and the husband died, you have a lot to consider. For love is as strong as death. Hear this. In the book of the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, and at verse 6. Yeah, a lot of folks don't know this is in the Bible. You have a lot to consider. That's right. It's more than, oh, well, I want to give her comfort. She lost her husband. Or I want to give him comfort. He lost his wife. Hey, it's more than that. Oh, yes. And you don't know the connection them two had? That's right. You don't know how intertwined they are? That's right. That's true. You really love that wife. That's a part of him that's dead. Yeah. Are you listening? For, uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 8. I hope I help somebody six. tonight. Amen. And many, many millions that are watching. Oh, yeah. Because there's many that are watching that's faced with what I'm preaching now. Mm. Hear this. Song of Solomon, chapter 8, and at verse 6. What is it? Set me as a seal upon thine heart. Set me. As a seal upon thine heart. And as a seal upon thine arm. Yes. For love is strong as death. Love is strong as death. You know why? Love cover you. Oh, yeah. Just as death covered the body. Many waters cannot quench love. Glory to God, many waters cannot quench love. Neither can the floods drown it. Floods can drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love. Yes. It would utterly be contemned. You hear it? Amen. That was the Song of Solomon, chapter 8, and that verse 7. Some don't know how to love. They like you. That's right. Some only love what you give. Right. So, other than that, they don't love you, man. No. They love the materialism that you can supply them. That's right. So you as a person, they don't care two cents about. That's right. You as a woman, they don't care two cents about. They just love the bed. But That's you right. as a human, they don't love you. That's right. Some fall out of love. Some never been in love. Some don't know what it is. Yeah. They say, I like you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's why I tell folks, you want to know whether he love you or she love you, ask him. And you better prepare yourself for the answer. Amen. It may not be the answer you're looking for. Yeah. Some is the type they need to be told every day almost. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I <laughs> what is that going to prove? If you're that insecure, you need to it's be insecurity. told. What is that going to prove? That's right. Never be the type of person where you need to hear it every day. Because a time may come, you can't hear it. Because of the condition that they're in, they can't say it. That's Neither right. can they show it. That's right. Are you listening? Song of Solomon, chapter 8 and oh, verse 6. Oh, this is good. This is good. God knows. Hear this. Set me as a seal upon thine heart. Set me as a seal upon thine heart. And as a seal upon thine arm. What? For love is strong as death. Jealousy is cruel as the grave. Oh, my goodness. Jealousy. Jealousy. It's cruel as the grave. It's cruel as the grave. The coals thereof are coals of fire. You know what a grave do to a body? Yeah. Disfigure it. Oh, yes. Dismantle it. Rearrange it. Make it unattractive. That's right. That's exactly the way jealousy, jealousy. is. That person is emotionally and mentally disfigured. Mm. Their actions are unattractive. And they'll do anything under the sun 
they get attention. Everybody's not marriage material. Amen. It's like every piece of material you can't make a, a suit out of. You can't make a suit out of this wood here. No. Everybody's not marriage material. Some want it, but everybody's in marriage material. Don't know how to be a husband uh, or a father. Don't know how to be a wife or a mother. They don't have some, don't have the stamina, nor the patience, nor the know-how, don't mm. want to know. That's right. They don't want to be tied down. That's what marriage is, prison. <laughs> That's right. That's what it is. Someone say you make it sound harsh. I don't care how you sound. It is what it is. It is what it is. Marriage is prison. That's right. And your license, uh, you're, you're tied down to one, and that's like a warden. <laughs> God is your warden. Yeah. And you're locked up. Locked in. Think of it. This is what I'm telling you. When you talk about marrying, you're talking about staying with one person until you get old and die. Die. God be looking in that face every day. <laughs> Amen. Not get tired of it. That's right. Because some get tired of it. Mm. Some only love you when you're healthy. Mm. God help you if you get sick. Then the true colors will come out. That's right. That's right. I had a woman write me one day. Pastor Jennings, my husband is sick. And I want you to ask me. Uh, would you please touch and agree with me that he died? Man, I wouldn't even answer the letter. No way, no. Huh? No. <laughs> Want me to touch and agree, to agree. that he died? Oh, Lord, my Lord. God may make, let him live and you die. That's right. Yeah, man, good now. That's, that's right. That's why I tell you young people, take your time. Take your time, man. I don't care if she walk and she switch her hips sway so strong until she, she part waters. She create waves on the asphalt in the street. My Lord. And you can hear the bongos of Africa. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no sign. Amen. Woman, I don't care if you got a wad of money. That he can choke a whole dairy farm of cows. Mm. Don't marry a man because of what he got. That's right. Who says he's going to have it forever. That's right. If you marry him for what he, he got, he may get in a, in a predicament, he lose it. Then what? Oh, yes. If she marry you for what you got, brother, and you lose it, you're going to lose her. She will. No, maybe so about it. She is she not will. going to stick with you. She's not going to love you. She will love you depending upon how much you got. And when what you have starts to decrease, her love going to decrease with it. Oh, yes. And it'll be so easy for another man to come by. They got a bigger wad of money than you and lead her right out your house. Amen. Go back to where we were in the book of Isaiah. Back in Isaiah chapter 40 and at Let verse 6. Let me get six. ready to knock off now. The voice said cry. I'm crying. And he said what shall I I'm cry? I'm telling you. All flesh is grass. What are you? Grass. Black, brown, white, yellow, green. What are you? Grass. Short, tall, fat, skinny. What are you? Grass. All flesh. All flesh is grass. And all the goodliness thereof is all as the, the flower goodliness. of the field. Thereof. Is as the flower of the field. Is as the flower of the field. The, the grass withereth. That's what your flesh going to do. The flower fadeth. Your flesh going to wither, buddy. Oh, yes. Everybody's. Everybody. You're going to go to dust. That's it. And what? The grass withereth, the flower fadeth. Yes. Because the spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Here the Lord blows on it. Surely the people is grass. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Hear this now. 